Hey folks, welcome back to your SVTV News. I'm Grace. And I'm Kaylee, and this is your Daily News. Mr. Hoffman's entrepreneurship and marketing classes need your input. Answer their surveys posted on SHS and Class Schoology pages. If you've applied to work in the Viking Brew, go to Miss Averill's room in W3 to pick up a teacher evaluation form. Forms are due October 19th. Students who want to take ACT tests should plan to attend Power Prep workshop on October 25th starting at 7.30 a.m. The deadline to register is October 18th and the cost is $45. Fill out the form and return it to Ms. Olson. Friday is the last day to order a senior women t-shirt. Cost is $14 for a short sleeve and $18 for a long sleeve. Pay the bank and get your receipt and order to Reagan Bond. No late orders are accepted. Join the writing club as they travel to Lawrence High for the Poetry Slam on Tuesday, October 30th from 6 p.m. to 9 p.m. Transportation is provided. Message Ms. Marsh Bank on Schoology if you're interested by October 20th. NHS is conducting a coin drive during the Seaman versus Washburn Rural football game this Friday, October 19th. The proceeds will go to breast cancer research. Today is the last day to turn in t-shirt order forms. See Mrs. Geis or the or the front office to pick up a form. Congratulations to the debate team this past weekend at Silver Lake. They took first in sweepstakes. There's a couple new teachers that we've highlighted this year. Let's go see who they are. There are some new teachers in the building. Let's go learn about them. My name is Mr. Coster or Andrew Coster to my colleagues and I teach environmental science, human anatomy one and zoology. I'm Mr. Kermer, and I teach special ed math. I've taught a few of those lessons in my student teaching, and to, um, I guess, some of the, when I was in Boy Scouts, I taught some things to some of the other troop members. I taught last year in Lee Summit, Missouri at a small Catholic high school. Uh, I was actually teaching calculus and pre-calc and engineering. Anybody have any questions about the web quest so far? Uh, Fun facts, I've broken my face around the eye. I got hit with a baseball when I was playing in college and it was actually the same injury that Gino Carter Stanton had. I like to take a few of my telescopes that I have out for, I'm kind of an amateur astronomer. I like to track uh, comets and asteroids. Um, and I like to do pretty much anything outdoors, hunting, hiking, um, spending time with family outdoors. If you see one of these teachers around, say hi to them. Make sure if you see Mr. Coster or Ms. Mr. Kermer, make sure to say hey. Now, over to Grace with the sports. Hey guys, it's me, a Viking. Spirit Club is selling blue and red Viking Pride shirts for $13. You can get an order form from Mrs. Geis in room N14 or in the office. All order forms are due October 17th to the bank. There will be no late orders. Remember, Vikes, we don't stop when we are tired. We stop when we win. Wrestling sign-up will take place right after school on Thursday. A table with sign-up info will be set up in the East Commons. If you are unable to be there, contact Coach Kelly by Friday. Boys soccer had senior night last night and they won their game 3-0. Now let's get over to Weatherman Josh to see what the week's weather will be like.
Good afternoon to you. After Topeka's second earliest measurable snowfall on record Sunday night, we have transitioned into a very boring weather pattern. And unfortunately, that looks to continue for the most part through the next several days. Today, 66 degrees. It's a great fall-like day with sunny skies and temperatures falling into back into the 50s after sunset. And our only rain chance in the next seven days comes late tomorrow night where we could have some showers in the area. However, not much rain is expected and no thunder is expected with this activity coming up tomorrow night. And now for your SVTV 7-day forecast, you can see that again, tranquil weather, but it's nice weather at least with 50s and 60s continuing for highs throughout the next seven days. Lows will primarily be above freezing. Now, back to your anchors. Wow. This week is going to be a little warmer. Thank goodness. Have a great day, bikes. Just bounce it.